Well, around 11 o'clock, officers were dispatched to the 400 block of South Mesquite. What had happened was there was a construction, uh, a group of construction workers that were doing some uh, road work in this area. They saw a silver passenger car pull up to the intersection, and it was a female that got out of the passenger side claiming uh, that there was a man in the car that had been shot. Construction workers called police. We got on scene. Uh, throughout the investigation, we heard that we believe there was a shooting that occurred actually in the 800 block of South Mesquite down by Mitchell. It's very early in the investigation, but this is what we know thus far. Uh, there was a male and a female inside of this silver passenger car parked outside of one of the apartments uh, down there. Uh, the female claims that she was approached by a suspect who knew the victim, who knew the man that was in the car because the suspect called out to the man by name. That suspect entered the back seat of the uh, vehicle and then there was some type of altercation that occurred where the suspect produced a handgun and fired multiple shots inside the vehicle. Investigators believe that's where the young man was shot, uh, was actually inside the car. The suspect then fled from the car and that's when the victim attempted to drive to get away from the suspect, drove about four blocks where they pulled over here to yell for help uh, from this construction crew. At this point, we're not exactly sure. Uh, we're gonna have to speak with additional witnesses. We're actually, we're interviewing the uh, female as well. She was taken into custody for a narcotics violation at this point, but she will we'll continue to interview her to see exactly what happened. Uh, she's claiming there was some property taken uh, during this shooting, so investigators are trying to determine if this was a robbery as well or if it was narcotics related, but at this point it's just too early to tell. The gunshot victim, uh, very serious injuries. He was taken to a local hospital in Fort Worth. Um, we don't have an update on his condition at this point, but uh, uh, he was not conscious when officers arrived on scene. That's why we're canvassing the area down there. We have officers on scene at the shooting location talking with witnesses down there as well. The, the, the female claims that she had a uh, laptop in the car and that laptop is missing. The victim was actually the, uh, the male subject of the victim was actually the driver and the female was the passenger. Um, right now, as far as the suspect, the only description we have is, is a young man, uh, possibly has some tattoos on his facial area, maybe a, a tattoo of a cross uh, between his eyes. Uh, wearing all dark clothing and ran from the location on foot. So we have several officers in the area. Out of abundance of precaution, we did notify the uh, University of Texas at Arlington. Uh, we don't have any information to believe that, that he's on campus, nothing like that. But just out of abundance of caution, we notified them. And so they did send an alert out to their students and faculty. Uh, normal normal campus operations, the campus isn't closed, nothing like that. Uh, as more information develops, of course, we'll